Bangladesh Air Force has signed an agreement with Italy's Leonardo for the acquisition of 12 Eurofighter Typhoon multi-role fighters, a decision accelerated by the poor performance of Pakistan's Chinese-supplied J-10C fleet during the May 2025 clashes. Boeing has successfully conducted the first firing test of its MQ-28A Ghost Bat drone, firing the 120 km range AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air missile during trials in Australia. Bharat Electronics Limited has unveiled the first prototype of the Indian Army's tactical communication system, developed under the 70% government-funded Make-I category of the Make in India initiative. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited has signed a trilateral MOU with the Indian Navy and the Brazilian Navy, to enable a structured exchange of information on the maintenance upkeep and life cycle support of Scorpion-class submarines and other naval warships. Apollo Microsystems has announced that it will set up a new explosives and munitions manufacturing facility with an investment of 1,500 crore rupees in Telangana. The Indian Army has successfully concluded the 19th edition of Exercise Surya Key Run 2025 with the Nepal Army. Bearaf Robotics has unveiled the Vrishabh Next Generation Unmanned Combat All-Terrain Vehicle designed for frontline operations, including combat support, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, casualty evacuation, and logistics. Indian defense executives including from Adani Defense and Bharat Forge, held rare meetings in Moscow to explore joint ventures. Discussions covered manufacturing MiG-29 spares and other Russian origin systems, and setting up production units in India, possibly for export to Moscow and friendly countries. Russia has offered the 20 megawatt class M90 F armoring gas turbine for Indian Navy warships, with full technology transfer, digital twin maintenance tools, and an Indian assembly line, aimed at achieving 70% indigenization within five years. The DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries have started work on a big upgrade to MRSAM system, that includes modernizing sensors, enhancing radar performance, expanding detection range, improving response against high-speed and low-radar cross-section threats, faster software and better multi-target algorithms to handle saturation attacks. The Indian Air Force has clarified that it will procure all 10 sanctioned squadrons of the indigenous project KUSA Air Defense System, regardless of any additional S-400 purchases from Russia. Each KUSA squadron will field 8 launchers and about 150 missiles, totaling nearly 1,500 missiles across 10 squadrons and Bharat Electronics and Bharat Dynamics are preparing production lines capable of 400 missiles annually. India is set to roll out its first fully indigenous integrated air defense weapon system, to shield New Delhi from hostile aircraft drones ballistic as well as cruise missiles. The multi-layered shield will integrate QR SAM for medium-range threats, and very short-range air defense systems and gun systems for low-altitude targets. Automated command centers will enable real-time coordination between radars, launchers and interceptors, sharply reducing reaction times. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is preparing to hand over the first seven production standard Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to the Indian Air Force before the end of the financial year by March 2026. All major air-to-air -air weapon trials are complete while the last air-to-ground tests are nearing completion, with certification expected by mid-January 2026. Aeronautical Development Agency has begun the pre-flight calibration phase for the Tejas Mark II, marking a major step toward its first test flight. Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender focused on updating the aircraft aerodynamic and engine models, generating performance charts, and supporting early flight test preparations. Once flight testing begins, data gathered from the aircraft will be used to further refine these models, allowing engineers to safely expand its performance envelope. Today's Top 3 Comments